Do you enjoy movie mishaps? Inconsistencies like the hero wearing the wrong shirt in a scene? In this video, I'll talk about how to avoid them. So if you are a director of production, keep on watching. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. This video is part of a series of YAL case studies. Film production is extremely challenging and it requires a lot of skills. One of them is to organize the production. To avoid the wrong shirt in a scene, you have to really keep track of everything that is needed. So that when you shoot the scene, everyone is there and prepared. The order of shooting scenes is in general not chronological in the movie. There are many best practices like call sheets in filmmaking and the YAL workflow attached here is about organizing or orchestrating everyone at a film set. Create call sheets, etc, etc. Let's have a look at the specification. Let's have a look at the workflow specification. So after you load it, um, it looks like this in the YAL editor. And you can see that they have made use of icons here in this um, specification. By the way, it doesn't have any sub-processes, so everything is here on this, um, on this top level. And um, if we want to know a little bit more about the roles, who is doing what, uh, we can do two things. We can look up here in the documentation. This um, document, I put it in the supplementary material as well. And we can see um, the users and um, who, is, um, who is doing what, how to log in and all these things. And um, this has been written by Chung Ouyang. And um, as you can see, the date is May 2010. So um, if we look at the, um, the data perspective, for example, um, we can see here that there are lots of data definitions here. So there are quite complex data handled. And um, if we look at the resource perspective, um, we can just click our coloring here. And now we can see, for example, um, the whole process is started with uh, by the production manager by welcome start process. And then there are several tasks. And for example, these tasks here, input cast list, they can be done either by the production manager or the production coordinator or the production assistant. So that's quite interesting. And then the process goes on and on. And um, at one stage, um, it goes here for the daily routine, so, uh, so to speak, and start another shoot day is, is an automated task here. And then there are these uh, fill out sound sheets, fill out camera sheets, fill out assistant director report, uh, create daily progress report, and so on and so forth. And this is going on as long as the whole film production goes. So it's every day is another, um, you know, uh, path through this part of the, of the workflow specification. So um, we can, of course, um, execute this. And um, if we execute it here, um, I, I have just already started uh, a case and the first user um, is uh, this production director here and so I view edit the first task and now it says welcome to start progress, uh, sorry, um, it says welcome to start process and then it says the production so we call this the big yellow. And then we complete. And next we have three um, work items here. So this corresponds to these three parallel tasks here. So I can just open input cast list. And now um, I can put in the single cast info, lots of information here. Um, these things at the time have been all equipped with um, so-called custom forms and the custom forms are also in the supplementary material. Only problem is they don't work uh, out of the box because um, they would have to be adapted and that would be quite some work. But just to give you an impression, so the first um, task that we have just seen here, welcome to start process, would look like this. And then um, the next one, the crew list, for example, um, 
it would look like this. And um, if we, let's say, cancel this work item, input crew list, so crew list, so you, you can see it here, um, this actually would look like, like here uh, on the right-hand side in the documentation if the custom forms would work. And then there is some kind of complex um, logic going on, um, storing the files, getting them back. There is, some, there is an Excel application, creating the call sheets, etc., etc. So this is how the process looks like. If you look at the comments of the assistant director in the 2008 paper on the project, you can see that they are all positive, but that using tablet computers wasn't something that people were really used to at the time. This has changed dramatically. There is standard production management software out there now, and I'll put a link in the description below. I have quickly looked at one or two solutions. They are professionally made, but don't seem to have this orchestration aspect of the workflow. But how necessary is this? Are you in the film business? I would like to hear from you.